Welcome to this very special opening event. The Cleveland Museum of Natural History has long had a very special story to tell, centered around one of our most famous discoveries, a discovery that is also one of our most famous ancient relatives, Lucy, the 3.2 million year old fossil of Austro Australopithecus afarensis, found in 1974 by then museum curator, curator Don Johansson and his team. We are delighted to be able to celebrate this discovery and others with a new exhibit on human origins that will tell this story and the broader story in which it is embedded as never before. With Lucy and a fully fleshed out, very lifelike and sometimes a little unsettling <laughs> new form starring as its centerpiece. She is surrounded by new exhibits that present our current understanding of human evolution, one of the most up-to-date exhibits on this topic you'll find anywhere, and highlighting recent discoveries by museum curators and others, and new interactive components that will engage the next generation of explorers who will take this story even deeper. I would like to thank the Merch Foundation for their very generous gift for the new lifelike reconstruction of Lucy and to acknowledge and thank the incredible team that worked closely together to create this gallery. Dr. Johannes Haile Selassie and uh, Dr. Denise Su, both curators here at the museum who oversaw all of the content and the stories that are told. John Gershi, the very talented paleo artist who created the Lucy that you will soon meet and CMNH Director of Exhibits Joel Alpern and his extremely talented and very hardworking team who put all of this together for all of you. I want to thank you all for joining us. Um, I can think of no better uh, welcoming party for Lucy as she returns to the museum in her new form. Um, especially delighted to welcome members of uh, the Leakey Foundation, Case Western Reserve, the Institute for the Science of Origins, and all of our very, very special guests. I also want to say that this new gallery is, in a sense, a preview, a small taste of where the museum is headed in the future as we build um, an entire new facility to house exhibits that will bring all of our sciences up to our current understanding and engage our visitors, young, old, and everything in between as never before. We're going to use this, in some sense, as a test pilot and uh, see how people are responding to it, but um, also to give you a taste of where we think we need to be going. So without further ado, I'd like to turn it over to uh, Dr. Johannes Haile Selassie, Head Curator of Physical Anthropology here at the museum. Well, thanks, Evelyn. Um, as one of the leading institutions on research into human origins, this museum always had a small gallery on human origins since the 1970s and early 1980s. However, because of the Recent discoveries, particularly in the last three decades, our gallery was a little bit up, you know, out of date. So we really um, knew that it needed some update, and that's what we did with this gallery. So what you'll see here is an exhibit that shows you from our, pla our place in nature as primates all the way through the last six million years of our evolutionary history to become who we are today, like the the animal with the largest brain living in a digital age. So we've done, what we've done is, in terms of the material that we have included in this exhibit, we have casts of however many specimens we could get our hands on of early hominins. And it also has a lot of technologically, you know, for technologically savvy people to have fun and enjoyment, a lot of information, educational. So we think that this right now, as it stands, is going to be one of the most up-to-date human evolution galleries. But obviously, as you all know, in human evolution, lots of fossils come up. And you know, that's why we don't have good textbooks in human evolutionary studies. Because a lot of things get you know, discovered, and then everything becomes obsolete. So we're going to try to keep it as up-to-date as possible. But for now, I think the way I see it, this is probably the most up-to-date human evolution gallery that we have around the world. And we would like to keep it that way for many years to come with up upgrading it with uh, new discoveries. So what you will see here in this exhibit 
is, of course, Lucy as the centerpiece. No matter how old species, how old specimens we find older than Lucy, even if we doubled the age by, you know, three million years, Lucy still remains the icon of paleoanthropology. It's the centerpiece of this gallery, as you will see. So what we've done is we've made some modifications to the skeleton based on new discoveries, based on elements of the skeleton that we didn't know before, but we do have some evidence today because of some new discoveries. So you will see modifications to her chest, to her thoracic cage, and also to her spine. Because now we know that chimpanzees cannot be used as models to reconstruct these early human ancestors. And that's what we did. We had to modify it accordingly. So when you see Lucy, you're not going to only see the skeleton, but you're going to also see the lifelike reconstruction. And I'm sure some of you will have something to say about her eyes. And I'm not going to say anything, but you, you will have the chance to, have, to meet Lucy and probably go back by about three million years. So now, without further ado, I would like to invite our uh, executive director and CEO, uh, Dr. Evelyn Gates, to do the honors uh, and cut the ribbon. Thank you.